Hello, today we're working on a Monte Carlo simulation, how to do it in Excel. We're going to do a simple example and we're going to do 10,000 simulations, which is easy to do in Excel and so we'll show you how it works. Now, let's say we have sales, we have variable costs, we have fixed costs. We need to know the mean and we need to know a standard deviation so we can do some simulations based on that. And so one thing we want to do is estimate what our sales might be. Well, we're going to use a function called the uh, inverse of the normal function. So it's, I'm going to use the fx here. So I'm going to search for norm.inv and you see it here. So this returns the inverse of the normal cumulative distribution. And so it's going to use a probability. So we say we could say, you know, what is the 20% probability? We want it to be a random number though. So we're going to do rand and open and close brackets. That's going to give us a number between zero and one. It will randomize it every time we change something with the spreadsheet. It will randomize. You see that says volatile. It'll randomize that and it'll always keep calculating a new number. The mean is 400,000 and the standard deviation is 40,000. So we're going to use those. So we'll hit OK. So that's 407. We're going to do the same thing for our variable cost and for our fixed cost. And then for our profit, we're just going to say, well, 415 minus 200 minus 102. And you see we've got a profit of 77,000. Now, what happens with Monte Carlo simulation is this is built on uh, probability and estimates. So if we want to change the, the different simulations or recalculate it, then we can do that with F9. And you see that if we change the sales, the variable costs, and the fixed costs all change, and then the profit changes because it's based on that. So if we change it enough times, we'll have a loss here in just a minute. Wait for it. Here we go. Now we have a loss of 25,000. This is a valid uh, estimate just like all the previous ones that we saw. So what we want to do is, is take this one estimate and do it 10,000 times. So I'm going to put, call that, that's our zero estimate, our zero simulation. So that's 80,000 here in this case. Every time we change it, you see it's going to update 31,000, 187,000, so on. So I want to highlight this. I've got a column all the way down to 10,000. So I want to highlight this all the way down to 10,000. I'm going to go to the data ribbon and under what if analysis, I'm going to call it a data table, pull up the data table. Now it's in a column. And so what do we do? What do we do with that column? I'm not going to replace any variables with the one, two, three. So I'm going to outside the data table, I'm just going to select a cell. So what that will do is it will recalculate it without changing any of the variables. So I'm going to hit OK and it's going to take just a second to refresh. And we see that now we've calculated the profit uh, 10,000 times. You can see that all the way down, we've got that many estimates of the profit. So what we want to do is I want to do something really quickly. I want to take, um, simulation one through 10,000. I'm going to highlight all those and I'm going to name a range over here. So you can see here I have, I'm going to name the range. I'm going to call it profit. So I can use this within my formula when I get an average and so on. So here average. So the average, I can just call it profit because you see I named it profit. So I'm going to use the profit number. Close parentheses, it's selecting every of those, uh, each one of those cells. So our average is around 60,000. I can do the same thing for standard deviation. I'm going to do standard deviation um, of the sample here. And this is profit. That's a named range here. Now the risk of loss is what we're really worried about is what percent of the time do we have a loss? We could count right here. Well, number two has a loss, number three has a loss, number eight, number 12. We go through and count, but hey, let's let Excel do it. It's better at it than we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this, I'm going to use the formula builder here. I'm going to call this, um, this needs to be count ifs. 
So count, we want to count based on profit. Now watch, when I type in profit, you see it selects this range. So that named range is going to be helpful in, in many, many cases. And anytime we're going to count how many are less than zero, I'm going to hit OK and done. And you see the actual formula, it puts in double quotes, less than zero, double quotes. So that kind of saves us time if we use the formula builder. The way we access the formula builder is just this FX right here to open the formula builder. All right, so this is the uh, percentage, and we want then to divide by 10,000 to get the percent out of 10,000. So it's going to be around 13 or 14 percent is the risk of loss. Let's do F9, and you see that the numbers change, but because we did 10,000 of these, it doesn't change, the mean doesn't change very much, the standard deviation doesn't change very much, and the risk of loss hovers around 13, 13 and a half, 14, something like that. Hey, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Give us a comment and we'll try to respond to those comments and we'll see you in the next video.